guys, welcome back. I have this fun bookmark mold today. There's six different ones. They, some of them have storage edges, some of them have squiggly, little like rough face sort of. Um, so I'm going to be making a couple of these today. I might just do these two big ones to start with and then see how much resin I have left. Uh, so I thought it would be fun to do a purple and a gold. And then um, a blue and a gold. And I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna mix up how I do these a little bit. We'll see how, we'll see how it works. So I'm gonna set my mold aside for now, so it's out of the way. Um, and I'm gonna mix up some of this leaf. And remember to separate your sheets so they don't get so you don't get huge chunks. So I'm going to do two little things of our gold leaf. I don't need a ton. I don't want it to be overwhelming. Get some sticks. Okay. Mix that up. Oh no! <laughs> Guys, this is how my whole day is going. I'm not kidding. Alright. Well, I don't know if I can save any of that because now it's going to have dirt in it. This is the problem I have with working with these two tiny little cups. Um. They're just really hard to handle. Put a little wipe with some alcohol on it and wipe that off. Wipe right off the side of my cup here. Oh, goodness. I have a little bit of extra resin, so I'll probably just add a bit into there. This really, truly is how my day is going. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna mix up this one. Ooh. I spilled some resin earlier. God, it's not cheap. I'm really, I'm really so upset when I spill it. Ooh. Okay. Set that one down. Make sure it doesn't stick over. Uh. And we'll set these two off to the side over here. Now we're going to do our colors. I'm going to shake up my purple and my blue. So we've got, this is snow green. I swear, it has to be labeled wrong. And this is a gray blue. This has got to have the wrong name on it. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And each one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten. Mix that up. That's such a pretty purple. It's also a really pretty blue. Okay, so those are mixed up. Set those off to the side and remove these out of my way. Then mold a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna do. Actually, we'll do these two. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna pour this all in here. And then 
starting to do the blue one. And I'm going to kind of just trail this through. I probably won't use all of it, which is okay. Um, so I don't want to overflow my mold. And then I'm going to take my little stick and kind of just drag it through, break up that color a little bit, get some of that gold, break up these pieces a little. A little bit of gold left here. I'm going to put this over here. There we go. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit. Push it this way. That's really pretty. I like that a lot. Um, and for this one, I think I'll just do a classic split. Um, and I think I'll do the gold on top. So I'm going to do... I'm not going to do it all because I don't want to overflow it again, so I'm just going to let it run and fill. That was pretty good. Okay. Looks nice. I'm going to take this and go very low and get some bubbles out. Actually, you know what? I shouldn't use that. I should use this because it's not as hot. Pretty. I love it. I'm going to take some of this gold. This one's not completely full. I'm going to take some of the gold from that one and put it in here. And I'm going to break up some of this gold a little bit so it's not all concentrated in one area. I do want it to look pretty natural, but uh, I don't want huge chunks just sitting in one spot. Uh. All right. Look at that. It's so pretty. I love it. Um, I might actually take this and do this little one here. So I'm going to put the blue on that end, purple on that end, in the center. Do some purple. Do some blue. fun. I actually wonder if there's a little bit more room in there. I wonder if I could take like a flower and stick it in there without too much hassle. <laughs> Let's see what else do I got here. Mm. Do this over here just so I don't accidentally drop it in the phone ready. They're all stuck together. Okay. Oh well. Perfect. We've got like a couple different colors here. All right. So I'm gonna take this and push it down. 
into the clear. I'm just going to be really gentle with this stuff. It's so delicate. Oh, I've got a hair. I think it's called Queen Anne's Lace. And it's just like it'll fall apart once it's dried. Okay, I'm not going to use the torch. I don't think it's overflow. I think I just dripped. That's okay. Those are so cute! I like that a lot. Okay, this makes up for some of my other issues today. So as the resin starts to cure, those will start to stay down. Um, Alright, that's all I got. A little bit of clear left, but I'm not too bothered by that. Um, it's not really enough to do anything with, so I'm not going to worry too much. Um, Alright, there we go. We've got three bookmarks. Looking good. I just thought it'd be fun. A little different from what I'm used to doing. Uh, try something new. So we'll see how they turn out. I'm liking how they are right now. Uh, so yeah, we'll come back tomorrow and we'll unmold them. I'll keep, uh, there's some bubbles still coming up a little bit, so I'll uh, keep popping those hairs everywhere, guys. Everywhere. <laughs> um, yep, and we'll come back tomorrow and we will unmold. I'll see you guys then. Hey guys, we're back with these bookmarks that we did yesterday and I'm gonna unmold them. They should be fairly easy to unmold. Didn't use a lot of heat on them because they're so thin. All right. Oh look how pretty it is. Oh it looks so good. It's so pretty and I love the uh, wavy edge. It looks really, really good. And there's very few bubbles, a couple micro bubbles, but nothing crazy. Um, that turned out really good. Still a little soft, so I'll set it off to the side so it can uh, continue to cure flat. Just gonna be really gentle, because this mold, I mean, it's kind of a cheap mold, I just got it off of Amazon. Um, I don't want to ruin it. It's just really thin. Um, pull that little nub out. Came out fairly easily. That's pretty. I really am loving these wavy edges a lot. Um, again, it's still a little bit soft, but nothing crazy. That turned out really good, and I really like the thick. Um, the thickness to that one it's just something different you see a lot of a lot of the skinny ones um, yeah I like this one a lot very very pretty all right and we've got this last one here which is the one we did the flowers in again comes out really easily um, some of our flowers did get covered but it's still so pretty this one these are so so fun I'm loving them and the flowers are upside down in this one, but you can't really tell. Um, so you could do either side and it would end up looking really good. I kind of like this interesting kind of um, effect that the, the pigment did. Kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I'm loving these. I'm going to have to make some more bookmarks because this was really fun. They're really simple and easy to do. Um, and they don't take a ton of resin, which is great. So I will finish these off by putting some tassels on them. I might even put some gold edging around the outsides, just give them a little bit of sparkle. 
Um, I guess they already have a lot of sparkle because of the flake, but just to kind of finish them off. Um, but that's all I've got for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to hit that like button, I would really, really appreciate your support. You can also subscribe and hit that little bell and be notified the next time I post a video. You can check out my Etsy shop. My link is in the description below and we will see you next time.